Do you want to take your stream to the next level with this bad boy? It's completely controlled inside of OBS, meaning you can edit all the sources without needing to know how to code or anything. You just need to know how to use OBS. I'm going to walk you through installing it and troubleshooting steps if you have any issues at all. Did I mention? It is completely free too. Let's get into it. Put your rocking for the stone. Heyo, duckies, Andy Lippy here. Uh, there are a few important things I should mention. This product and the other stream up products only support OBS 28 and above. If you haven't upgraded yet, I'll leave a video up here and in the description on how you can upgrade without any issues. Trust me, it's easy. You will also need to have either Sammy or StreamerBot as these are the only tools we are supporting right now. It goes without saying, these should be all up to date too. Jump into our StreamUp website to download the product, hit download, then it will take you over to our coffee page. We would love it if you considered putting in a dollar or so as it will go a long way in supporting us making these incredible products for you. If you cannot afford a dollar, you can just put in a big fat zero in the box, then proceed to download the product for free. The first thing we need to do is install everything in folder one. So we're gonna open that up. We've got the Futura font. So double click this and it'll take you to the, uh, the website to download the font. Just hit download, as you can see just there and get that installed. Once happy with that, we're gonna to go to the StreamUp plug installer. We're gonna make sure we've got all our OBS plugins all up to date. This was made by Silverlink, it's awesome. So hit download and it's gonna take you to our coffee page. Uh, if you wanna help support us, please consider banging in a dollar. It goes a huge way to, to make us keep making this these tools and content for you. Uh, and if you need any help with getting it installed, there is a video just here. Just click that and that'll take you through it all. Once that's all done, we can then open up OBS. Once in OBS, in the top left, press tools, then stream up and navigate to where you save the folder. So mine is just here. I'm gonna open folder two, which is OBS install. And then we're gonna select the dot stream up file just there. And that's gonna create a new scene. It's gonna look like there's nothing really going on. But if I turn these images, uh, images on, uh, these sources on like so and turn them off, it'll show and hide it. So if I leave them on, we need to add this scene to other scenes. So if we want it on our just chatting scene or our gaming scene. So we go to whichever scene we want it on and then we're gonna press add on the sources list and select scene. And then scroll down to stream up widgets, minimum walking message and press okay. And that's gonna add the scene there. You can also resize it if you want it to be all tiny or you can make it larger if you want to. It's completely up to you. Uh, and then once happy, just press the lock sign so it doesn't go anywhere. Go back to that other scene and turn all the sources off so it's just hidden. And then we can get it set up in our bar. Setting this up in Sammy is nice and easy. Just hit bridge on the left, press install and extension and navigate to that folder and then open folder three, which is bot install. Go to Sammy and open the .sef file. This is gonna create a little button just here. We're gonna double click into that. Don't worry about any missing images. Just right click on the main button and go to edit init variables. So these are all the different messages that we want to add. So you can see, Ayo Ducky, hello there. How are you? Good day to you. Ayo, welcome in, good to see you. So you just need to follow this same pattern. You can delete these if you want to. Just make sure you, whenever you add one, you add a comma to the end, make a new line in some speech marks. Now we're gonna put test message for instance, close speech marks, and when it's on the last one, just don't put a comma. And do the same with in ignored users. This is if you don't want a certain user to be mentioned in chat to come up as a welcome message, just add a comma and then do the same. We'll do test user, close speech marks. And again, cause it's the last one within this section, we don't need to put a comma. Press validate Jason to make sure you've done it right. And then press okay, save, and then press save again. Now, when I type into my uh, chat, I'll put hello. Like so, I'll get a little welcome message. It'll be my logo, Andy Lippy, welcome in. And that'll be the same for any other user that comes in. 
if I type again, it won't show up as it will only show up for the first message that is posted. Installing into Streamerbot is nice and easy as well. We just need to open our file browser and navigate to folder three in the, uh, the download and go to streamer.bot and you'll see a .sb file. There is also a resources menu just here. So within resources, we can there's a text document which we can double click into and we can add as many lines of messages just here so i'll type in test message and just keep adding lines and lines of uh, messages completely up to you what you put in there just press Control s and save it afterwards and close that down you can edit this at any point as well and then to install the actual extension go to stream about press import and then back to your files and we're going to drag and drop the sp file into import string but if that doesn't post across for you because i know some people have some issues double click into it open it with notepad select it all with Control a Control c to copy and then just paste it into import string it will add two actions and a queue press import and that's it jump to platforms and we're going to go to twitch events general and go to first words and select animate just there press select i'm going to press reset to make sure it's not already got a previous message after we've set that, we just need to go back to our actions and then select the anime action and go to settings. You'll see the read random line just here, double click into this and we need to press the ellipsis and then actually go to the folder of where the product is. So mine's just in here. We're going to go to version one and go to the bot install folder, stream bot. And then remember in resources, we have the random welcome message. We're just going to double click that and press OK. That is going to make sure that it's going to read from the correct file. Once happy with that, we can make sure that we're all reset on the platforms menu. Like so for the first words. And then now when I type in a test message, we'll see it'll animate on screen with a random message saying, Ayo ducky, with the user's profile picture and their name. Again, another nice way for people to interact with your stream. If you are running into any issues at all, don't worry we have a discord server you can find the link in the file you downloaded or on the stream up website just join and search for the product in the different channels each product has its own forum this means you can search through the posts to see if someone else has had your issue and if not create a new post please be as accurate as possible and provide screenshots so we can actually help. If you like this product, then tell YouTube and press that like button. Also subscribe as there are tons more products on the way. Speaking of, check out this playlist full of stream up products. See you over there. Put your rug over the stone.